Hello guys, welcome to tutorial number 5 of our introduction to game development using Pygame in Python. So in this tutorial we are going to go we are in this series we are going to go ahead and build a simple uh, space invader game. So I have shown you the video earlier on. So if you are new uh, to the channel, that this is what you are trying to do. If you are new to the series, this is what you are trying to do. So we are going to just learn how to build a game using Python which is going to be a space invader game. Okay, so we are going to go over all the all the concepts of building game from a fundamental point of view. So okay, so if you are new to the channel, please kindly consider subscribing this uh, to the channel, uh, liking this video and joining our community uh, in learning python game development uh, building different uh, projects in python uh, data science web development and so on okay so now that you have done that uh, what i want us to co cover in this video is learning how to shoot the bullets uh, right now we are, we sh our player is going to be able to shoot uh, our spaceship is going to be shooting bullets and those bullets when they whenever hit, they hit the alien craft then the, the alien craft dies out right so this is what you're going to be trying to do and in this we're going to go over and uh, learn how to do the bullet shooting so in the last row i thought that we'll go over displaying the enemies but i thought that we do the bullet shooting and then from there we can move on to the enemies and then cover concepts from there okay so now what we need to go ahead and do is the first thing we need to go ahead and do is to download an image that we need uh, to use so you can just go to flat icon uh flat icon and just download an image from there and use those image for uh your uh your your, your user so you need to download a simple image uh you from a uh, flat icon and then you're going to be using that image uh, for uh, this okay so i've already showed you how to download images from previous tutorials so you can just go ahead and check those previous tutorials you can just go to flaticon.com and then search for a bullet or a missile and then download an image which is similar to that uh, missile okay so I'm, i've already downloaded my image let me just show you let me just grab my image and then we can use my image right here okay again, again all these images are available the link to these images are available on my github repository so if i go to my i think i go to my desktop i think i'll be vacating desktop uh content and it's under my uh it's being i have is a space uh let me just see uh it's not here so let me just go back here let me just go into projects and i go in here and i can find it in assets okay right here so it's a bullet that i have so i'm just going to go ahead and simply copy this and then i uh, simply go ahead and paste it okay so i'm going to go to my desktop go into my tutorials folder and my, my space invader into my assets folder and simply paste it here so this is this is it right here and you can find this uh, the access to this image on my github uh, uh my github page the link is going to be in the description or you can download it from flaticon okay so once we have this downloaded i'm just going to go ahead and uh, begin to code so make sure that if you download an image from flaticon make sure that the image is a uh, uh i think it's to be a 32 by 32 pixel image of the for the bullet okay so yeah so once we have that out of the way let's begin to actually see how the code uh, for this is going to work like so uh what i want to go ahead and do right now is simply the first we need to do is actually load uh load the bullet so let's go ahead and actually load that bullet information so i'm going to just go up here and then i'm just going to say uh load uh load uh load bullet uh image okay so now i'm going to go ahead and load the bullet image i'm going to say bullet uh bullet uh, underscore img is going to be equals to the phone so it's going to be equals to pygame dot uh i image dot load and then simply we're going to go ahead and load the image that we want so i'm going to go uh into first slash assets and then assets first slash i want to go ahead and simply get the bullet uh sorry this is gonna be the bullet uh, dot png okay this is uh which is this image that we have right here the bullet dot png image okay so i'm going to go ahead and simply load in that image and once i have the image loaded uh, i can go ahead and, and bleed it the screen but we want to bleed it based on a certain condition okay so now i want to go ahead and actually set uh, some values here before we proceed so i'm going to say bullet uh y and the bullet y i'm going to be leaving it uh, around four uh 480 and the reason i'm leaving it to be 480 because uh the player is also 480 and why am i doing that the reason i'm doing that is that the player doesn't really move on the y axis so let me just go back to the diagram and let me just go back and explain it. so it's using this diagram okay so we have the y axis this way the one going downward so the player doesn't move away from the y axis so we want the, the we want the bullets position in terms of the y-axis to be equal to the player's position in terms of the y-axis why do we need this because we want to sh see the bullets actually coming out of our our, our spacecraft right the bullets are gonna be coming out of it so if you're here the bullet should not be come out of the out uh, gonna be coming out of the spacecraft and that's the reason why we need to specify the y-axis of the bullet to be the same as the y-axis of the image so that we get we get the bullet originating from the spacecraft so that it look like the bullets actually being shot from the spacecraft okay 
okay i hope that uh makes made, uh, made sense but oh, that's why I'm, I'm using 480 here and i'm also using 480 you can you can create a constant and then use that constant so whenever you change the constant it changes it for both of them instead of having to uh do it twice but i'm just gonna keep it uh this let me say bullet and bullet y uh sorry bullet x is gonna be zero for now we'll, we'll deal with that i'll show how we can change that for now in later on so we're going to also have bullet underscore state and bullet state is going to be called uh, by default is going to be loading uh let me just say loaded and don't worry i'm going to, I'm going to use all this to explain to you so just type along i'll uh, explain to you all this in a second so bullet change in underscore bullet uh, underscore uh, change in x underscore for the uh, position underscore uh, we can see for the bullet so it's going to be the equals to uh for now it's going to be equals to four uh we'll change you come back to this later on and i'll explain to you why i'm using four and why i'm using all these values okay so just bear with me kindly type that out and let's go ahead and explain to you why i'm using that okay so now i whenever i want to press whenever i press the space key right whenever the key goes down i want to check if it's a space key and if it's a space key that's when i want to go ahead and shoot my bullet because i want to, the bullet to be shot whenever a person presses the space key so to do that i'm going to go down here and going to, going to go ahead and simply say the following say if uh game event dot uh key right the dot key mm, key is going to be equals equals to a pi game dot uh key uh, underscore is gonna be a space key so we're going to check if a space key has been pressed so we're going to check first of all if there's a key down we check which kind of key it is. if it's a space key then what do we want to do we want to go ahead and shoot our bullet right that's what we basically want to do so go, go ahead and simply check first you can only shoot a bullet that is loaded so we're going to check the state of the bullet and that's why we have i have this state right here so i'm going to explain to you this this more uh, in more details later on so i'm going to check the state bullet if it's equals to a loaded meaning that the, the bullet is ready uh, ready to be a uh, shot right so we're going to check if the state is loaded right because Im imagine a gun right you can shoot a gun that is not loaded you can only shoot a gun that has a bullet loaded inside of it right so yeah that's basically what you're uh, trying to implement right here okay okay so i have to keep an if condition right here i forgot the if so if a bullet equals equals to loaded and then you're going to do something what do you want to do the first thing you want to go ahead and do is that you want to set the bullets position to be equals to the player's position and then later on we'll shoot the bullet so we want to go ahead and shoot the bullet so how do we go ahead and in, uh, in dealing with shooting the bullet so first of all let me just do something i'm going to say bullet uh bullet underscore uh i'm going to say bullet underscore x position uh, of the bullet so i'm just get that right so bullet underscore uh let me just say bullet x is going to be it means it's x position of a bullet is simply going to be the player's uh x position right because we want the bullet and the player to be on the same axis right on the same position in terms of the x axis and we're going to deal with that later on because uh, let me just go back and explain it to you because the player can move up and down right on the in terms of the x axis moving up and down so uh we want the the bullets where the bullet appears to be on the, on top of the, on, on 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 the players mean that you want so that it can appear that the, the bullet is being shot from the spacecraft so you want the the, the bullet's exposition to be equals to the player's exposition means that the bullet is just literally at the same point as the spacecraft so it appears as if the bullet is coming out of the spacecraft okay and that's why i'm going to specify the exposition uh, bullet exposition to be equals to the, the the player's y position after that we need to go ahead and shoot our bullet so how do we shoot our bullet so shoot our uh, bullet so to shoot the bullet i'm going to go ahead and simply define a function that is going to handle the shooting of the bullet for us i'm going to go up here and below here i'm going to create a function i'm going to, I'm going to shoot and then take in the the bullet uh the bullet uh, x and the bullet uh y okay so we take the bullet x and the bullet y and what we're going to see we're going to go ahead and do i'm going to say global i'm going to refer to a global keyword which you, which you have uh, spec specified as the bullet state so bullet uh state bullet uh state right and the bullet state by default you're going to be using the global bullet state you're going to be using this right here and not the one which is defined inside of the function scope okay okay so once i have that i'm going to say bullet uh bullet uh state uh bullet state is going to be equals to uh fire fired or fired yeah let's use fired so bullet state you're going to change the bullet state to fired you know whenever we shoot a bullet means that the state now is fired it's not more any more loaded okay so we're going to say state is going to be fired and i'm going to say we're now going to go ahead and simply draw this bullet on our screen so i'm going to say screen bleed passing our uh, bullet image so we're going to say bullet uh bullet uh image right here and you're going to pass in where we want to draw it. so we're going to say bullet y uh bullet uh bullet y and uh, bullet x okay bullet x and uh 
the bullet uh, y okay just like that the bullet y so great so basically we're going to simply uh, draw the the the, the bullet we're going to plot it right or draw it on the display on the screen use by displaying the x and the y position and the image that we in which you want to uh, blitz the screen so once we have that done that should handle for us now the player shooting so now we should go ahead and call this function and that should be responsible for drawing uh, that image for us so if we go here and say shoot uh shoot and then you're going to simply pass in a uh, bullet uh bullet uh bullet x and the bullet y so we're going to pass in bullet uh bullet x so we get the spelling there right so bullet uh x and then it's going to be this bullet x and then it's going to be bullet uh y and which is going to be this one right here so we're going to simply uh plot the bullet x and the bullet y and the y pos x position of the bullet is going to be the same as the x position of the uh, of the player because we want the player to be we want the bullet to come out of like being shot out of the spacecraft right so that's why we want them to be at the same position initially great so once we have this done now let's go ahead and see wha what we can do so right now this is the player uh you're not hitting the y value means that the player the bullet should just be at the same position so let's actually look at how this is going to behave whenever i run the game so uh, run the game and let me just go ahead and press spacecraft okay now we can also be uh so go ahead and press space rather space key and now you can see our spacecraft is just there and uh, that we don't have the bullet there nothing is being shot okay the reason why is that you're just displaying the bullet in the same location as the player but you're not actually being uh, you're not actually shooting it out so let's go ahead and actually do that okay so to do that you're going to simply go ahead and simply uh, minus the y values of that bullet so the bullet can keep moving upward so uh, to do that is very actually very simple so what you have to do is you have to go a bit down here and uh, just above the player well, so what you want to do right now is to now make sure that the player uh, the bullet keeps moving upwards when I, as long as the uh, space key has been pressed so once i move down here i'm just going to go a base above the player function and i'm going to go ahead and say if the bullet state right i'm going to check if the bullet state uh, if the bullet state equals equals to uh, five means the bullet has been fired and uh, th this file this file is going to be set uh, from here right remember we are sitting it here, right here so we're going to check if the bullet state equals equals to fired and if that's the case what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to simply go ahead and say uh uh, shoot bullet and then passing uh, uh, the X and the Y. So we're going to go ahead and simply go ahead and simply say um, you're going to go ahead and sim simply say shot and then you're going to simply say pass uh, bullet and you're going to pass in the, the X and the Y coordinate. So we're going to say bullet X uh, and then you're going to say uh, bullet uh, y as well so y and then uh, press y and then that so we have the x and the y so once once that's done now we want to continuously decrease the value for the x and the reason why i'm keeping this code here instead of the instead of the main while loop right and not indented or under any for under any for loop or if the uh, or yeah and any, any follow basically is because we want this to continuously run uh, as the game uh, runs right so i explained to you that whenever you want anything to continuously perform right uh, the, as long as the screen updates right you keep it inside of the while loop so that's why i'm keeping this here because i want constantly uh, the bullet to be constantly moving upward so to do that i'm going to simply say go ahead and simply say bullet uh bullet and you're going to get go ahead and get the bullet y and the bullet y is going to be equals to uh equals to i'm going to say minus equals to change in the bullet uh, uh bullet x position so you're going to simply minus the change in the x position of the bullet and you have set that value to be four meaning that the, the, the meaning that the, the bullet to continuously move up in the y axis by four because you are minusing a value from it so if you go back to the coordinate system right here you can see if you minus a value it goes closer 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 and closer to zero so it continuously goes up up and up okay so that's what uh, we are trying to do right here so in, if the bullet state is fired and the, fi the fired state appears whenever we call this bullet function which is going to go ahead and simply set the state to be fired okay so now let's go ahead and actually run the game and let's see what's going to happen so once i press this now you can see the bullet has been fired and i'm going to press exit now you can only fire one bullet at a time so you can see right now one bullet gets fired and whenever i press space again and uh, no no other bullet gets fired so what am i going to go ahead and let me just go back in here mm, back in here and go back into my vs code now uh, what you want to go ahead and do is that we're going to be able to fire multiple bullets right not just one bullet well so what we're going to go ahead and do is that we're going to check if the bullet has reached the x-axis on the has reached the zero point in terms of the y-axis and if that's the case uh we're going to return we're going to set its value back to the position of the player so that the, so the state can be loaded again and the bullet and the player can be uh the uh, so that, uh the player of the game can be able to shoot again so to do that i'm just going to go, go ahead and here uh, in here and i'm going to say if the bullet y right if the bullet y is equal uh, less or equals to zero what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to say bullet 
uh, bullet Y and I'm going to set that to be 480 and why am I using 480 480 is the position of the of the player and the bullet in terms of the Y axis because the bullet originates from the the position of the Y uh, of the player in terms of the Y axis right so I'm going to set it back to the the same value as the X of as the player's Y axis value and that's the same value that we use here and here okay so and that's, same, that's the same value you're going to be using right here and once we set it back we're going to go ahead and simply change the state of the bullet so now the state of the bullet now is loaded again because the bullet has now been uh loaded because it has fired previously but now it's going to be equals to loaded we're going to, because it is back to its initial state and ready to be fired another time so we're going to change the state back to loaded which will enable us again to check if it's loaded and then be able to fire the bullet again so once i have that done i'm just going to go in here run the code again so if i shoot now you can see i can shoot multiple bullets so i can shoot while even moving around i can shoot multiple bullets okay you can see that uh, that works okay so okay, that works uh, suspected so they can now shoot multiple bullets and uh, everything works as we uh, we intended to work okay good so yeah that's basically how we can shoot multiple bullets and uh, and uh, make sure that our bullets we can shoot multiple bullets and without having any issues of the waiting or any stuff like that so yeah that's basically it on how to uh, shoot our, our bullets and uh, be able to um, uh, shoot the bullets and uh, hopefully in the, in the, in the next row we'll create uh, the, uh, the enemies and then our bullets will hit the enemies hopefully and then now we can detect the coalition and then be able to perform uh, actions depending on uh, whether there's, there has been a coalition between the bullets and the enemy aircraft or not and then we can do that uh, the, uh, that uh, calculation and then be able to uh, decide whether the enemy dies and whether we increment our points or not. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next draw. So if you guys enjoyed this draw so far, kindly consider liking the video sharing the content with anyone we think might find it helpful and uh, subscribe the youtube channel if you haven't yet subscribed uh, join a great community of python uh, we learn python uh, for different stuff game development web development uh, building a back-end applications and all that stuff all the fun stuff with python data science and ai and all that so if you're interested in those please kindly consider subscribe the youtube channel and see you in the next one keep safe